All right, everyone, this is Frank Demore. This is another video, again, for February 22nd, 2012. And I just got through giving you some information about uh, Putin and how he warned Israel not to attack uh, Russia or uh, Iran. And so what I'd like to do is continue on now with some other prophecies, but continue on, first of all, with the uh, this war, the rumor of a war of which we see in Matthew 24, 6. Let me go right to the website so that you can see it for yourself there. And obviously, if you're at my YouTube channel, you'd be able to switch over to my website and you'll see the link there, so you'll be able to click the, click the link just like I did and be able to get right to the article that I'm quoting from. It says, Fearing West, Putin pledges biggest military buildup since the Cold War. It says, Russia needs to launch a major military buildup to prepare for life in a dangerous world where international law is breaking down. The West feels free to. Uh, intervene in sovereign countries and rivals could invade Russia to seize its rich trove of natural resources, Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has warned. In his fifth problematic article detailing what he will do if he wins a new six-year presidential term in elections that are now less than two weeks off, Mr. Putin pledged, among other things, the biggest rearmament program in Russia since the collapse of the Soviet Union. Over the next decade, Putin writes $772 billion to be spent on 400 new intercontinental ballistic missiles, 2,300 late-generation tanks, 600 modern combat, combat aircraft, including at least 100 military purpose space planes, 8 nuclear ballistic missiles, submarines, 50 surface uh, warships, as well as a whole new inventory of uh, artillery, air defense systems, and about 17,000 new military vehicles. Uh, the process of global transformation currently underway may carry all sorts of risks with it, many of them unpredictable. And you're not kidding there, but I can tell you where all of this information is leading. I've been showing you from the get-go where it's leading, and I guess all I can do is point you to the prophecies. I can't make you believe them, but what you're seeing in the news is definitely uh, bringing us to the events that were prophesied in the Bible and they, are, again, as I showed in my previous video, they're leading to the finality of the Ezekiel 38 war, of which Russia will be a major player in and will be wiped out. And so take it to heart because you will see these things take place in the near future. Now let me go to another one because this is a prophecy about persecution in the last days. And go to your Bible, you'll read this in chapter 24 of Matthew, verse 9 where the Lord showed us in the last days we were going to be persecuted, and that is definitely the case. Now, I've given you some information before about this Christian pastor in Iran, but here is some new information as February 22nd, 2012, concerning, if you will, Iran's stance and how they see Christianity in these last days, and they just want to kill every Christian and every Jew that they can get a hold of. Now, Iran court convicts the Christian pastor uh, convert to death. And this is a, uh, the pastor lives in Iran. He was born again on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ, and he's under persecution for his faith. He's been arrested. And according to this article, now this update, the trial court in Iran has issued its final verdict ordering the Christian pastor to be put to death for leaving Islam and converting to Christianity according to the sources close to the pastor and the legal team. Supporters fear that Yusef Nedark Nahani and the 34-year-old 30, father of two who was arrested two years ago on charges of apostasy may now be executed any time without prior warning as death sentences in Iran may be carried out immediately or dragged out for years. It is nuclear or unclear whether 
Nate Dark Handy can appeal for the execution order. So Christians, we need to uh, get on our, our prayer mode again. We need to lift up this family, and especially the pastor, and ask the Lord to put a, a wave of protection over him from these tyrants here who hate Christians, who hate Jews, and obviously they have, they have no part in the kingdom because they haven't received Jesus Christ as their Savior. And this is one of the reasons why they are the way they are is because the Bible tells us that anyone who was not with Christ is against Christ. And obviously this man uh, is definitely against Christ. And uh, we don't know the fate. All we can do is pray and ask the Lord that he would put a hedge of protection over the family and this pastor and to release him. But what it does show us is what a leader of a major country thinks about Christians and how he will keep pursuing killing Christians and the Jews. And, and that's one of the reasons why uh, we see the end of Iran, if you will, in the Ezekiel 38 war. It's because what they are doing now is they put a curse on themselves. We, we know this from the book of Genesis because it tells us anybody that uh, curses Israel will be cursed. And it says also... In uh, Zechariah, anybody who comes against Jerusalem will be cut into pieces, destroyed. And so this Iranian regime is doing that, and we know when their end will be, and it will be here at the Ezekiel 38 war when Iran, thinking that they are going to be victorious over Israel with Russia and Turkey and Libya and all these other nations, uh, but in fact, God has already ordained their destruction. So uh, I'm just praying that the people in Iran will see this and take it to heart and receive the Holy Spirit message and receive Jesus Christ for their own protection. Otherwise, you'll, your road will be leading to the same place Ahmadinejad is, and that is some place that you don't want to go because it's, it's eternity in hell with Satan. Now, here's another prophecy in Zephaniah where we're told in the last days, and I've reported about this extensively, that in the last days, the Lord warned that people would get diseases, animals, birds, fish would be dying off. And here is another one of those many articles showing us, again, uh, the same kind of news that I've been showing. And there is a post that I put up. It's still up. And uh, all you have to do is Google why birds, fish, and animals are dying. Put my name, Frank Demora, and that will take you to the, the post that has all of the information contained about the birds, animals, and, and whatnot dying here. So it says, thousands of dead tuna found floating off Dubai. Dubai, the Coast Guard, has found... Thousands of dead tuna floating in the, war, in the waters west of Dubai Monday. Initial investigations suggest that banned fishing methods could be responsible for the incident. Now, we always see, uh, you know, reasons why they think, and most of them, they're not even sure why they're all dying. But the fact of the matter is, hundreds of thousands of fish, we see the animals, we see diseases that are coming out killing uh fish, killing animals, uh, even diseases that are spreading from animals to humans and back and forth now. So these things are all, again, part of the last day's prophecies, and I will be adding this particular prophecy to my site. Now, what I can do is I can show you how it works here. If you want to find out, let me go into... Uh, let me open up another window. You can see how easy it is to get this information. And I'm doing whatever I can to show you. Just put in why birds, fish, and animals are dying. Frank Demora. Hit the search button. And you'll be taken to 
November 16, 2011. And you see here, as soon as it loads up, it just take a second to load up. But then when you scroll down, you'll see from all the way back here, the listings of every article that I've tried to get posted for you, uh, showing you that all these different events that are taking place and all the animals, the birds, and the fish that are dying. So, And it is prophecy. It's in the works. These are the last days. And this is one of the reasons why we're seeing more and more news like this. And uh, just a few days ago, I reported about the lambs that are, are being born. They have a, uh, a disease that is killing them. I just had this a few days ago. And then, as you can see, I just posted this newest one from Dubai. So please take advantage of the labor of love that I have for Christ. And these things are all part of prophecy, prophecy that the Lord warned about in the last days. I hope that you're paying attention, and I hope that my work is encouraging you to get into the Word of God and to read and to understand exactly how close we are to really seeing the Lord coming back. And that is truly a blessing.